Hello dear brothers and sisters, I'm Yusuf Abdesalam. If you are watching this, you are watching a lesson about English. Okay, in this video we will learn how to use the verb have. Even if you don't understand English, please, I'm speaking slowly so you will understand. Don't leave this video and let's know how to use have. Before I start talking about how to use it, we need to know that have has got three situations. The situation or the case when have means must, have to. And then we have another situation or case where have is an auxiliary verb with the perfect tense. But the situation or the case that I'm going to talk about in this video is have as a main verb. So let's see the first usage. Okay, so we use have as a main verb to mean possess or own. For example, I have a house. He have is a house. No, <laughs> that was a joke. We cannot say he have is a house, like we say he wants or she goes. No, we cannot say he have is or she have is. It is a special case. We say he has a house. She has a plan. So let's read the examples together. Have as the meaning of possess. I have a house. He has a house. She has a plan. And we should know that we have have, has, and in the past had. For example, when I say I have a house, he has a house, I had a house. So how to use have and has? We use have with I, you, we, they, and the plural noun. For example, I have a house, we have a house, they have a house, you have a house, my friends, plural, have a house. And we use has with he, she, it, a singular noun or non-count noun. For example, he has a house, she has a house, it has a house, my friend, singular, has a house, and non-count noun, for example, water has, has no color. All right, for example. So we know now how to use have and has. In the past, just make it had. For example, in the past, I had a house, you had a house, he had a house, she had a house, it had a house, my friend had a house, water had no color. So now you see how to use them in the present and in the past. The meaning number two when it means eat or drink. Eat or drink. For example, she has breakfast alone. She has breakfast alone. So it means she eats her breakfast alone. Another example, we have lunch together. We have lunch together. So we say we have, she has. In the past, they had dinner together last night. They had dinner together last night. Okay, so now let's move to the meaning number three. Meaning number three, have means take. For example, you should have a shower now. You should have a shower now. All right. Uh, another example, I should have some rest. I should have some rest. So here, have means take. The meaning number four, have means get. For example, and I will make it in the past, all right? For example, I had a message from dad. I had a message from dad. It means I got a message from dad or I received a message from dad. The fifth meaning uh, is have means to arrange. Have means arrange. For example, We've decided to have a party tomorrow. So far, we have studied five meanings of how to use the word have. Please, I need you to write down in the comments some examples for every meaning. 
and don't forget to follow the page and to like us and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. See you in a new video. Goodbye.